everyone, Glimpse here, and today we're discussing is Sino worth pulling for? Uh, really quickly, let's get right into this. Um, here's the biggest problem I see people talk about with Sino. We're just going to show... Okay, now I'm aware that Zhao is different because he does scale more with attack than Sino does. Because Sino scales more on EM, right? But here's like the biggest problem I normally see people discussing with Sino. And it's like... Okay, let's go right here. Let's just test this out on some of these slimes that'll spawn. Unless I killed them all yesterday. Um, yeah, I did kill them all yesterday, but don't worry, we can come right over here. Okay, so... We're gonna take a look at this really quickly. Alright, so let's see Zhao, like... Okay, he's not built for physical or anything, that went pretty well. Now, let's re-shield and then go try this with Sino. Just because, like, the overruled convenience is something that's very important for a lot of people in characters. Um, that did take a bit longer, right? And let's take a look here. Is that Sino's 80 to 41, my Zhao 70 to 23. So, obviously, pretty similar stats, right? But... Another thing that like people don't really talk about Xiao is that Xiao's E does a lot of damage, right? Let's go fight one more thing over here. Um, let's see. Well, that's kind of inconvenient to get up there, but here, just watch this real quick. Um, okay. So, watch how Xiao's E does against this. Like any normal, most people have two of them, right? Like, look at that, 30k just right there. And then when we look at Sino, this is normal tax, right? Okay, he did 3,000. Alright, maybe that wasn't a crit. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that was, though. Uh, how do you get up here? Can you climb this, or do you have to shoot it? Okay, you can climb this. Let's see. Okay, that was 8,000, and that, I'm pretty sure that one was a crit. So, <laughs> so you see that, like, there's a big difference in terms of how much just normal damage output you can do without their burst. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run through some daily commissions really quickly with Sino. Because... I don't just want to show like all of his negatives and everything, but I also don't just want to be like, oh, he's the best character ever. Because don't get me wrong, Sino is a pretty solid character. You can do some pretty good things with him. But just like, getting my point across right here as to why he's not always the best character. We can put Zhao away and everything because... Because this is not a Zhao video. I'd say my Zhao is pretty solid to be fair, but that's not... I'm not just here to... <laughs> not just here to say, oh, look at my Zhao. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go this way. And, like, I am currently using Raiden right now just because of multiple enemies it's easier to keep up Aggravate on. Where, if you're doing, like, single target and everything, you can use Fischl as a pretty good option. But I'm just using Raiden right now. And it also does help with the energy when, if Sino ever has this downtime where you don't want to use Sino's burst and everything. So, let's take a look at this, right? So... This is going to be a lot more enemies, so this should be fine right here. But, okay. So, let's trigger some reactions. Right, okay. So, pretty solid stuff. Okay, so. Now, that was pretty good, right? So he got his burst back and everything. That was a lot of fun. That looked cool. If you think that playstyle looked fun, then Sino is the character for you. If you don't feel like that was crazy fun or anything, then maybe he's not the right character for you. But let me get one thing straight real quick, just so people don't freak out. Um, Sino, you don't have to play him this way. You can like switch out the Electro character with another Hydro character. Such as Yolan would obviously better be better for this in my opinion, but you could also switch it out with Xing Cho for a Quick Bloom team. But personally, I just like playing this with Sino. Okay, so that was a lot more enemies, so that made sense. He got his burst back right at the end, right? But let me just paint you guys a picture really quickly. To so say that, oh, you want to play Sino, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know why I phrased it that way. But um, let's say, okay, you want to play Sino and everything, right? You go ahead, oh, there's a Hilla Churl, and it's taking all this time to kill him with your auto attacks and your E's because the E's do a lot less damage than Zhao and all these things of what you're used to. Use the burst, bam. Okay, Hillitrail's dead now, and you have no burst. <laughs> so, like, 
Okay, don't get me wrong. In boss fights and everything, he's perfectly fine, right? Let me just showcase a boss fight real quickly in case you haven't seen that. Um, let's fight this guy because Sino's pretty good against uh, this teleport. This boss, wow. Um, not teleport. Sino's pretty good against this boss. Let me just show you like a quick thing against bosses and everything. But like, okay, and to be fair, my Sino, I don't think he has like the most energy. What is he at? Yeah, he's only at 118, right? So I have like 20 energy recharge I've built on him, which to be fair could be higher. But I feel, I hear a lot of people complaining about Sino's energy requirements just in general. But let's go ahead and give this a shot. So you can definitely see that he's he's actually pretty solid against bosses. At least in my opinion. So, there you see right there, worked pretty well. And of course I was able to get two E's per rotation because I choose to run him on Thundering Fury. And while this is the better artifact set, it, does, it is slightly more punishing if you mess up. So, you could either run that or Gilded Dreams, and I don't need to claim that, I almost did that out of habit. But, so you see he did pretty good in boss fight, he got his burst back and everything. He's a pretty cool character. If you like that gameplay, then 100% sign us for you. And then let me show you the type of character, uh, let's see. Okay, now let's see against this, like, five enemy opponent. Where, like, especially against uh, single target that are not boss fights, like in shorter fights, it's kind of annoying. Because say that like you lose your burst on Sino, right? And then you're kind of just out of luck. So like, okay, say that it's like you have one enemy that's like medium tanky, like those Geo Vishap things. It's like, okay, you can go ahead and you can kill them. And then they die, and then you, you had your burst. You kill them, and now you have no burst and no way to get your energy back. <laughs> So here, let's see. Um, I'll do this first. Oh, I'm frozen. Okay. So let's see how much energy I can... Oh, I didn't do it that Okay. So, they're all dead. The other one worked fine because there was eight opponents, but this one was five, right? And, like I said, while I could use more energy recharge and everything. I don't feel like a character should have to be fully invested in energy recharge to be viable. Now like, here, say I wasn't using Raiden, and just look at how much, because he does have a pretty expensive burst cost. Look at how much energy this is back. And like, while this does sound primarily negative overall, it's like, the main, the only problem I really have with Sino is how burst dependent he is. That's why I don't play him more. Okay, I got a bit more, and then, have to wait a little bit longer for his, burst, for his E again, and then there you go. And then you can get his burst like that. So, it's not too annoying, but it's just like, especially even if you have like a lower, um, are there any more combat ones? Okay, yeah, there's combat right here. So I'll show you guys one more fight with Sino and everything. This one's against eight opponents, should be fine. Or like also like longer boss fights, like you saw against the, um, what's that called? Jade Plute Terror Shroom. You saw that he did get his everything back so that works out pretty well and just real quick while you're here if you guys do enjoy this video consider like comment subscribe uh whatever you guys want to do if you do enjoy the video and like to see more so yeah now that we got that out of the way let's just get continue this going on um okay. okay so pretty solid that one did go a little bit quicker his burst looks like his animations are so sick like, he does look really cool to be fair. He's he's definitely one of the coolest and like best designed characters, at least in my opinion. But like even though I have my Sino at C2 and I have his signature weapon, I don't find myself playing him that often. Like I feel like I'm I've talked about this before in a previous video, but like just to get this out there, I feel like that's his biggest problem, is that he's very burst dependent. And like like I said before, while a lot of people like playing him in quick gloom teams, I personally don't really like playing characters as drivers, I guess. Like as child, I like playing him kind of more of a hyper carry build. And it's like same thing with Sino, where he's kind of a driver to a quick gloom team. It's just not really my style, you know? So I just don't really have fun like that. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people can agree with. I know that there's a lot of people that care more about just like how much damage you can do and how much thing how much 
uh, like the most opti optimal rotation and everything. But I say that I'm fairly casual in terms of like learning optimal rotations and everything. I just kind of play how I think is fun. Just spam E whenever I can. Um, yeah, overall he's a, definitely a really cool character. If you like the gameplay that you saw of him, then you're gonna have fun with him, right? Like know that you're also. Let me just go over some other weapon choices real quick. Like I already said, use this artifact set or Gilded Dreams. And then, I don't know, pretty much any 5-star or 4-star crit weapon, any of those work. Uh, you could run some EM on him. Like, like attack and EM is kind of mostly what you want. Like, this would be a pretty solid weapon for him. Um, I'm sure you could also get by with some of these EM weapons and stuff. I don't really think... I mean, you could get away with an ER weapon, I guess, but just don't. Unless you run him, like, fully as a driver, then feel free, man. But, I don't know. So, yeah, you must just want some EM on here. My Sino could always use a bit more EM, to be fair. But, Nahida is going to give an extra 250. Um, you also get... Okay, so this turns all of his EM into attack. And then when you use his burst, right here... Uh, where is it? Okay, right here, you get an extra 100 elemental mastery whenever you're in his burst. So, all this kind of adds up and everything. And you just get... So you get an extra 250 and an extra 100, so 350 extra on top of this. So we're just going to go off here around this and say it's 200, so about 550 EM when everything's all said and done. And that also goes into attack. So that's basically how I've built my sign on everything. And then I have them on Electro Damage Goblet. Constellation C2. So you can kind of see how much, uh, you can kind of see how you feel about this. Or how you feel about the character as a whole. What am I doing? Um, oh, I was looking for constellations on someone. Oh, okay. I just thought it was kind of weird how these two looked very similar. Just making sure they didn't all look like that. Um, but yeah, so there's pretty much Sino. Once again, I feel like he's definitely a very fun character. If you liked looking at his playstyle here, if you'd want to do him in a quick bloom team and everything, that works fine. Um, actually, here, I'll show you guys a quick bloom rotation one time. Real quick on the same boss fight. But just know that my Sino is not really... Or like, none of my characters are really built for quick bloom teams, I guess. But I just want to show you guys kind of what to expect from this. If you just want to throw it together and see what happens. But like, yeah, there's there's a bunch of different teams you could throw him in. He's a really cool looking character. If you like the design, go out, pull for him. Like, you're going to have fun. Unless, like, but if there's characters you like more, like if you want to say for Ido or Ayato or something, you'll get more usage out of them. Here, we'll even... Yeah. Let me... There you go. Okay, so you can see this right here. You can see all these bloom damage, see what happens. Okay, so... There you go. You guys saw that. It went pretty well and everything. Like, it was cool. Oh, I almost claimed that again. <laughs> Good thing I didn't have enough resin for that. Um, but yeah, if you got, I mean, that's especially even with Yolan and everything, like where he gets 50% extra damage bonus, that works even better. And that was with Nahida burst and everything, so of course it did look better than the previous runs. Just getting his energy back on this real quick, but. Especially if you don't run him double electro. Like, the only problem with this is that it is also harder to keep up his energy recharge. But, once again, in Quick Bloom, you don't have to worry as much about his crit stats. You can focus slightly more into energy recharge. But yeah, oh, I, I don't believe I showed you the talents. This would be the last thing I show you guys real quick. Look at my Sino talents right here. So, I do have him double crowned in these two. Um, so this is like where a lot of his skill damage comes from when you're in his ult. Or not, this is all of his skill damage. But this is a lot of the overall damage in his ult. And then this also right here helps just increase the damage and everything. And this is pretty solid for overall damage. Like when you're attacking outside of burst and when you're in burst. So you kind of want to level all of them up equally. What does this say? Um, burst, E, auto. Okay. I'd say, yeah, that's that's fair. I'd agree with that. Um, but don't just always blindly follow this. To be fair, it's right probably like half the time. <laughs> um, like here's a good example. Look at Ido, right? You want to level up this before his burst, and then they're gonna say burst first. Look okay, at there you go. Okay, this is more important than his burst. Just quick little thing of information there. But you want to level them both up around equally. But just do this first. But yeah, there you go. So um, that pretty much wraps it up. 
if you did think there was any problems with the energy recharge or anything, or if you'd want another character, like I was saying earlier, like Ido, Ayato, Child, Hu Tao, pretty much any of these characters can do the same, if not more damage than Sino. Uh, Sino is definitely a really cool character, but I feel like he's def he's not a must pull, or he's not someone that like changed my account entirely. I don't play him too often in the overworld simply because of the burst requirements, just for like how much energy it is, and the cost of this, and how it's kind of just restrictive and he doesn't do too much damage outside of his burst but i do play him a fair amount still like let's see i'm at, i've met friendship seven so not friendship 10 or anything but i do play him somewhat often uh what was i looking at real quick oh I was, yeah i was here okay uh energy cost 80 which is definitely one of the more expensive bursts in the game that pretty much wraps it up though so if you guys did enjoy this video consider subscribing and if you'd like to see more same thing there you can follow me on twitch same username on YouTube. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys all have an, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and see ya. Bye.